Okay, so let's begin. You refer to in medicine and uh, uh, nurse, there's a nursing staff, Sarah. She has asked you to help her with the urine analysis. Teach her how to do the urine analysis and don't let her do it. Do it. Okay, so that's how the most of the teaching stations are. So you have to teach them, assess them, and uh, you don't have to assess and give them feedback and don't let him do the, don't let her do the examination. Okay. How are you going to start it? You are building the rapport first. You are assessing their knowledge, what exactly they want to learn, and a brief explanation what we do in the urine dipstick as well. So that's something that you can do. Now, uh, before now we start, Few things you need to tell the patient that first of all, what kind of urine sample you need. You need midstream. You need midstream urine sample, right? So you can explain it to her as well. What is midstream sample? So we tell the patient. We give the container to the patient. We tell the patient. Uh, now you start passing urine. Start. Uh, I mean, pass a bit of urine in the loo, and then you collect the urine in this container, and then rest of urine you can do it in the time. So we need mid part of the urine. Sometimes they, they'll ask you one question, doctor, can I just collect the urine in different container and then put it back in this container? The answer is no, no, you can't do that because uh, otherwise you may not be able to find out if there is an infection. You may not have the proper desired results as well, right? So you have to take it in the same container. You have to pass a bit of urine, then collect the urine in the container and that's it. That's your midstream urine sample, okay? Right, and make sure when you're doing the examination, you have already checked the identity of the patient. Right. Sometimes what happens is if you have got many samples with you and uh, then if you are not labeling, if it has not been labeled properly, then it might create problems as well. So you make sure the identity of the patient has been done properly. Now, before we jump into the urine analysis, urine dipstick testing uh, as such, what you need to do, just do a bit of... Uh, uh, inspectory talk with the with the staff. Number first thing is that you need to know is okay. Initial assessment of the urine sample bottle should have the correct details, including the name, date of birth, and the hospital identification number. So what we check the identification. Number two is the inspect the color. So you need to check three things. You need to check for the color, clarity, smell. Three things. So color, color. What's the normal color of urine? Can I say it's a straw color? Straw color. That's normal, right? Uh, I mean, patient is. Uh, uh, properly hydrated if it is a straw color. If it is dark concentrated urine, then it means what? It means dehydration. If it is red urine, it's immaturia. The reason could be anything. The reason could be any problem with the kidneys, any problem with the bladder, for example. If it is orange color, what does it mean? It might be rifampicin, right? Or maybe sometimes red urine, you'll see patient might have eaten too much of beetroot as well. So that could be one of the reason as well. Yeah. And then... Uh, <clears throat> For example, brown urine. Brown urine is again, could be because of certain medications as well. So what I mean here, you tell what is the normal color and then you can give you a couple of examples as well. That will be good. Then you inspect the clarity. So if it is clear urine, it means what? It means normal, healthy patient, healthy person, right? But if you see it's cloudy, if you see it's frothy, cloudy urine means what? It means patient has got urinary tract infection. Patient might have some kidney issues as well, right? If it's frothy urine, patient might have protein urea in it. So these are the things I mean you can check. So color, clarity, then smell. Smell obviously from a distance. Don't sniff it. I'm saying smell from a distance, right? So if it is offensive color, what does it mean? Urinary tract infection. If it is sweet order, it might be uh, diabetes, glycose, urea. So these are the things that you can do. So check three things. First of all, color, then clarity, and smell. What you have checked, you have checked the identity. You know it's midstream urine. You have already built the repo. Then you check the color, clarity, smell. These three things. So I think all these process will take, uh, I would say maybe three, four minutes of your time. Right? Now, now what? So then you will see you will have a bottle. You'll have a bottle urine dipstick bottle. And I just check uh, if... For example, if 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 if, if we have got uh, uh, the expiry date, that's the main thing. Check the expiry date, and then what you do, you open the bottle and get a stick. Get a stick from it, and then you dip it in the urine, and make sure all the squares, all these pointers that you will see on the stick. So that's your stick actually. So this kind of stick you will see. So make sure you, this stick should be dipped into the urine. 
right? For how long? For few seconds. Make sure all the points, all the squares are dipped into the urine. So you dip it, take it out, and then put it on the tissue paper. And then wait. For how long, doctor, I should wait? You will see it will be written on the urine dipstick bottle itself. How long you have to wait? So <clears throat> when we start reading, we start reading from down there, from glucose, bilirubin, ketone. That's how it goes. So usually the bottle, it says you should start reading it after 60 seconds. You will start reading it after 60 seconds. But they say leukocytes should be 90 to 120 seconds. That's how it is. So they want you to read after 60 seconds. Now if they have got a, a watch, they're not allowing you to watch, to carry your watches. They don't have any clock in the room as well. But uh, how am I going to get the idea about the time? So if they have not given you any clock, then obviously you just have to guess it. For example, uh, I would say, Sarah, for example, if it is one minute, 60 seconds, you'll start reading it. You'll start uh, uh, finding if there's any glucose or bilirubin or ketone and specific gravity. When you reach the leukocyte, make sure the timing is in total 90 to 120 seconds. To be honest, if you start from glucose and you reach the leukocyte, it is going to be extra 30 seconds already. So it shouldn't be a problem. So you start reading from 60 seconds, but for leukocyte, it should be in total 90 to 120 seconds. Just check this. This will be written on the urine dipstick bottle. You don't need to learn anything about it, right? So I think this is, again, the easiest one. You shouldn't be having any trouble in it. In the beginning, repo building and uh, identity of the patient, midstream urine, color, clarity, smell, and then you dip it, take it out, and then you compare. You start reading it after 60 seconds, but for leukocyte, in total 90 to 120 seconds. Right, so that is the only thing that you need to do in this urine dipstick. All right.